Hey guys, I noticed some damage on some of the lemons that I'm growing here, my Meyer lemons, and it's about that time for this tree to start blooming and growing new leaves again. So what I'm going to do is completely harvest these long, um, Meyer lemons and use them for lemonade or maybe freeze some of them because I um, want this tree to continue to grow. As you guys can see, there are some blooms coming up right there. So I want to make sure that this tree focus is energy on producing those blooms and maintain them for next season and not on holding on to these. So I am going to do a good harvest, especially because this tree is not one of the biggest trees. It's still a young tree, maybe three to four year old. And I still have tons of lemons on my Eureka lemon. This is my Meyer lemon, so... I definitely want this tree to grow. Plus these lemons will stay fresh on your counter for a long time or if you put them in your fridge, they'll definitely stay fresh. But I don't want these to go to waste and I don't want the birds or rodents to get to them. I would definitely want to um, enjoy them, especially because it takes hard work to grow these. Not to mention these are super expensive on the store. Probably pay about maybe a dollar for two or three. So let's enjoy them. Look at that. Start, it was starting to look a little sad and that's because the tree was focusing all its energy on the lemons and not on growing and getting more new leaves as you can see right here check this out there's new leaves new leaves so I want the tree to focus on that I actually came home early today because I'm not feeling my best. So for that reason, you guys might <laughs> can tell the energy in my voice. I'm normally super hyper and excited. Um, believe it or not, I truly am excited to harvest all these Meyer lemons, but I'm just feeling a little under the weather today. But since I'm home during daylight, I wanted to share this with you guys so you guys can see how much Meyer lemons this little tree has produced this is the second year it produces Meyer lemons I'm gonna step back so you guys can see how big it is it's not that big but it is a big heavy producer so if you guys are interested in getting a citrus Meyer lemon is the number one tree I recommend just because it's easy to grow easy to maintain and a fast producing tree yep that's it guys, I took absolutely every single lemon that was on this tree and there was quite a few. I mean if, I'll probably count them afterwards, but I want to say there was at least 20 to 30. Check it out. <laughs> Anyways guys, I hope everybody's doing great. I haven't seen you guys in a minute, but I definitely have been here uh, in my garden. There hasn't been much to report. There's a lot of things that I'm going to be repotting that I'm very excited about. I'm going to be sharing that with you guys. But uh, as of today, I hope you guys have a blessed day. I'm going to go get some rest and um, maybe just sit here a little longer and enjoy <laughs> the sun, enjoy my garden, and watch Lily play for a little bit. She loves playing by the fairy garden. Just a quick little view of how everything's looking today. It's a little messy over there because I have some projects going on. But everything's looking great. There's my Meyer lemon tree. And look at this Eureka lemon going crazy with the blooms and the new growth. 
so I'm very excited about this. This year, um, this tree maybe gave me about five to eight lemons. As you can see them, they're still on the tree. But this year, it looks promising. There's a lot, a lot of blooms. I'm hoping they get pollinated, and this tree will give me so many lemons next year to the point where I can share with family and friends, which has been my goal from the very beginning. All right, guys, have a blessed day. See you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.